Hey guys, it's Anara here. Um, welcome to the section 3.7 families of quadratic functions video. So here's a list of things that we're going to be going over in this video. Looking for quadratics that share a vertex. So given the function f of x is equal to negative 2 x plus 5 squared minus 7, determine another function um, with the same vertex. So the first thing we need to do is identify the vertex. So the vertex is at negative 5 and negative 7 and that's because um, the x always switches. So if it was x minus 5 the vertex would be plus 5 negative 7. But since it's x plus 5 the vertex is negative 5 and 7. So um, the family of parabolas is of the form f of x is equal to a x plus 5 squared minus 7. So basically we just took vertex form and substituted the vertex in. So another quadratic in the family is f of x is equal to 3 x plus 5 squared minus 7. So essentially you can substitute any value in for a and they are still the same family of quadratic functions because the vertex is exactly the same. Okay, so in this example, we need to determine a specific equation um, given a point that the equation passes through and two x-intercepts. So what we're going to do is we're going to use um, factored form and we're going to substitute in the zeros for r and s. And that gives us x minus 7 and x minus 10. So if we expand all of that out, we get x squared minus 17x plus 70. So now we need to find the a value, and we're going to use um, the point 0 and 5 and substitute x in for 0 and 5 in for y. And when we do that, we get 0 squared minus 17 multiplied by 0 plus 70, which is just 70, all multiplied by a, which is equal to 5. And so 5 divided by 70 is 1 over 14. So a is equal to 1 over 14. Therefore f of x is equal to 1 over 14 x squared minus 17 x plus 70. So in this example we have an application question. A projectile is launched off the top of a platform. The table gives the height of a projectile at different times during its flight. So determine the equation that will model this set of data. So we're given this table over here and the first thing we can do is find the vertex because we can use vertex form to determine the a value and um, finally plug that into the equation. So if we're looking for the vertex, the vertex is at 3 and 56 because like all quadratic functions, um, as we go one x value up or down, the y value should be exactly the same. So that's how we know that there's a vertex at 3 and 56. So if we plug the vertex into the equation, this is what we get. Um, I basically just used 0 and 11 and substituted that in for x and y um, and just simplified it to get a is equal to 8 over 9. So as a result, f of x is equal to 8 over 9 x minus 3 squared plus 56. So a quick review of everything that we um, discovered through this video. If the value of a is varied in a quadratic function in vertex form f of x is equal to a x minus h squared plus k, a family of parabolas with the same vertex and axis of symmetry is created. If the value of a is varied in a quadratic function in factored form, f of x is equal to a, x minus r, x minus s, a family of parabolas with the same x-intercepts and axis of symmetry is created. If the values a and b are varied in a quadratic function in standard form, f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, a family of parabolas with the same y-intercept is created.